Mackenzie with you. Obviously, it's good to get this first win and get that out of the way going in the conference play, but how important and special was it just to get that win here at Memorial Stadium? We knew that today, like, we knew they were going to be a tough team, and so we were up for the challenge. And so to have our home crowd, our home field, and all everything, like, that was all the pieces we need, and everything came together. And so it was really special to get last game going into conference to come, like, to come into conference with momentum is huge. So that was really exciting. Yeah, one thing that I talked with the coach about a little bit is that even though the first seven matches, the results didn't necessarily go our way the way we wanted to, the team's never stopped fighting. And when you look at it from a defensive <coughs> perspective, there's a lot of pressure on you guys early on. Brooklyn, what was it like just over those first couple matches, developing cohesion, developing a rhythm, and knowing that you guys were keeping team in matches to coming after today and getting that win? Yeah, obviously our defense has stayed strong. I mean, few mistakes here and there, but I feel like we've all kind of come together to help each other out. and. We're just trying to give our forwards and midfielders the best opportunity they can to create something. And I guess luckily today we created a lot of opportunities and finished. So it was a lot. It seems like nice. the match went back and forth uh, from time <clears throat> to time. But we took the momentum going into the half. Lena came through with that huge goal. What was it like just on the sidelines in the locker room at halftime going in up one nothing? This one's for both of you. I, know, I was on the bench when Lena scored. And we jumped like six feet in the air it was insane she because like it was everything we said we needed quick on the ball went in strong on a tackle created space for herself and then couldn't have placed the shot better and so we were so excited to have that momentum going to have yeah we also knew we needed to keep that momentum because obviously being up at half i mean one goal is easy to come back from and we knew we had to stay strong and fight because they were going to come out 10 times harder they were already putting up shots against us so we knew that we couldn't drop another level. And I mean, when they did score, that can hurt us sometimes. But we knew we had to keep the level up high. And obviously, we put another one away to get the dub. So that was nice. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and talk about that one that we put away to get the win. Uh, Brooklyn, they tried to clear it out. It went to you. Go ahead and kind of walk me through that play as you collect the ball. What did you see? And how did you end up uh, finding McKenzie open? Honestly, I saw kids on the backside and I knew she was wide open. I just knew I had to get it there. And if I got it there, Kent could settle in. I knew she was going to contest something on goal. She had already had a few opportunities and she wants to put one away so bad and she finally did. So I think that was big for her. And Mackenzie, I've touched on it a couple times. You're leading the team in shots, shots on goal. You've been so close so many times. What was it like for you to first off find yourself that wide open? And then to see the ball actually going back in the net. Oh my gosh! I saw as whenever I see B pick her head up, and then I like I know it's time to move. And so I saw her pick her head up, and I knew she was going to get it there. And I saw it clear the first defender, and I realized in that moment that I could settle it, take a touch. And then I just knew that I had to just chip it high enough to get over the keeper. She was transitioning, so, and I think you could see the relief in the celebration. <laughs> I was like, finally! But no, you're right. It's definitely like it's easy to just be frustrated with the amount, you know, like getting that close. It's easy to be frustrated, but just staying positive and knowing that eventually, like today, we'll find the back of the net. So. Non-conference season is over. We start conference play next week. Um, how do you guys carry this momentum moving forward? You picked up your first win, now you're looking to head to Belmont. So how do you keep that focus, keep that momentum rolling throughout this week as you get ready for your first conference game? I just feel like we know that we have to like practice hard. Um, this was probably one of our best games we've played. And if practice is good, then we're going to have more momentum going into next weekend to hopefully contest with Belmont. And I don't know, I just feel like we have each other's backs all the time. So we're always there to pick someone up if they're struggling or if they lose a ball or don't get it first time out of the air. We're always there to like back them up. And I just think if since we got a dub, um, we can have more momentum to say we can actually win, like, since we have a win already, so. And, like, like she said, the chemistry of this team, I think, has fully come together. That was something that we were waiting on a little bit at the beginning with, you know, a lot of newcomers. But, like, the chemistry, I think, has fully come together. We all bought in for each other today. And so, like, that win with that, like, performance, I think it's huge going in. We have this Thursday off, so it's a lot of time to recover because a lot of people are dragging a little bit. And so it's a lot of time to recover, which is huge. And so this was like 
like absolute perfect scenario heading into conference. So we're really excited about that. And this will be my final question for both of y'all, but I've seen the frustration. I've seen just the want and desire to get that first one on the board. When the clock finally sounded, uh, the final horn at the game, just what what thoughts, emotions were going through both of your heads? And just from the team overall, what was it like post game, just getting that first win out of the way? Finally, that was the worst. Those yeah. last 15 minutes after we went up, I mean, we knew, I think we knew coming off of that momentum, like as long as we were solid and focused, like this game was ours. But wow, that could not have gone any slower. But, and then like energy afterwards was so big, so positive. Like everybody was all smiles. Like it was something that it's been coming for a while. And so to finally get there was huge and it felt so good. Yeah, getting a win is super nice, but we also have to focus on the next game. Mm -hmm. We can't just think about this game. We have to move on to Belmont and get ready for it, and I think we're all ready to train again and mm -hmm. get back to work. So, Absolutely. Appreciate it. Thank you.